the years. First, a few guidelines for dismissal after the program. Graduates will remain in their seats until they are handed a diploma. Once you are given your diploma, you may exit to meet your family. We will release all guests on the terrace level first. Terrace level first. Balcony, terrace, balcony. Balcony will go next. We would like for you to please exit in an orderly fashion. At all times, please follow the directions of security personnel in place. They will guide you to the nearest exit. You will be able to exit using stairs to the lobby or outside ramp down the parking lots. Elevators are available. We ask for your patience in the exiting procedure. When you do exit the building, please continue to the parking lots or onto the grassy area. Please do not congregate at the doors. You will be able to meet your student outside in the parking lots or on the grassy area to continue your celebration. Thank you for coming tonight.
please remain standing for the national anthem by our very own East Central High School senior choir members. dawn's early light was so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we I would now like to introduce the superintendent of Jackson County Schools, Dr. John Stricker. Good evening. Good evening. I know there's many in this audience that have uh, seen a lot in our country and, and seen a lot of challenges, but in my 31 years in education, this is the most challenging year that I've had between hurricanes and the pandemic. And these kids have led our school through it. Let's give them a big round of applause for that. I'd also like to recognize some key individuals in our community through the pandemic. If you serve in the healthcare profession or have served, or will be serving in the healthcare profession, even graduates. Would you please stand up? Would you please stand up if you're in the healthcare profession? I want to thank you for getting us through that pandemic and getting these kids back to school very safely. It's greatly appreciated from the heart. And then I always take an opportunity to recognize those who serve our country. That is near and dear to my heart because at night I can sleep because I'm in the best country and the safest country in the world, in my opinion. And so anyone that has served or is currently serving or has a loved one that has served or currently serving in the military, would you please stand up and be recognized? That's awesome. That's a very good representation. It shows the type of community that we are in. Graduates, I'm just going to have you raise your hand on this one. If in any way you were impacted by the COVID-19 virus, you or a friend or a relative or family member, just raise, raise your hand if you would, if you were impacted in any way by the COVID-19 virus. Audience, if you, a friend, relative, or someone you loved or care for, was impacted in any way by the COVID-19 virus, would you please raise your hand? Exactly. I have some very serious concerns in our country right now. 
with teen suicide and depression at all-time highs, much of it is linked to the isolation of young people. I have some very serious concerns. I was informed by a very reliable source that Jackson County Schools led a national effort to get, back, to get kids back to school safely and started a trend that I was not aware of because we came back. These young people, or maybe we'll never even know of some tragedies that may have happened with young people, were part of a national trend to get kids back to school safely. Some schools still aren't back. And so I just want to show this audience and these graduates my appreciation. Please give yourself a round of applause for getting back to school. It's appreciated. <laughs> Lastly, graduates, I want you to know when you get your diploma, inside of it is a business card. I set one of my business cards in there. I see my job as superintendent when you walk off the stage. I see that really beginning at that point. Because it's one thing we provided you in education, but it's another when you walk off that stage. If I or any of my staff or anybody in this school can help you get where you want to get in life, whether it's next year, I still have people contact me 15 years later. If you need help, keep that contact information. I will help you achieve what you want to achieve in life, or if you ever just need help. It may not be me, but I'll see that you get any help you need. Even after you walk off the stage, we love you just the same. And so I want you to know that appreciation will continue. At this time, I'd like to welcome to the stage the Assistant Superintendent of East Central, Mr. Boucher. Mr. Boucher. Good evening and welcome to the East Central High School commencement exercise. Graduates, the administration and staff have shared with me some of the many accomplishments throughout your high school career. This indicates to me that you are a special class and there is no limit to the potential that you will reach. The 165 graduates that sit before us have been awarded over $4.4 million in scholarship money. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> Graduates, please be sure to thank your family, teachers, and anyone who helped you get to this point in your life. At this time, if the faculty and staff of all East Central Attendance School Center, Center schools would please stand. We would like to take a moment to recognize you for all that you have done for these young adults to help them reach this momentous milestone. Where's our staff? I know they're here. There they are. Once again, congratulations graduates and good luck East Central High School class of 2021. Thank you. And at this time, at this time, Miss Elizabeth Dunsford has a presentation. Good evening. Before we begin our commencement ceremony, I would like to welcome those who have joined us. Dr. Don, John Stricker, Superintendent for the Jackson County School District. Troy Frisbee, trans, Chairman of JCSD School Board. Keith Lee, Vice Chairman of JCSD School Board. Amy Dobson, Secretary of JCSD School Board. Glenn Dickerson, member of JCSD School Board. Jory Howell, member of JCSD School Board. Dr. Todd Boucher, Assistant Superintendent. Mr. James Huey, Principal for the East Central High School. Mr. Ronnie Rao, Assistant Principal for the East Central High School. Yeah. 
Ms. Sherry Hart, guidance counselor for East Central High School. Ms. Brenda Corley, guidance counselor for the East Central High School. Ms. Monique Farrington, principal for the East Central Middle School. Ms. Sherry Tanner, assistant principal for the East Central Middle School. Ms. Donna Knight, principal for the East Central Upper Elementary. Ms. Angela Severs, Assistant Principal for the East Central Upper Elementary. Ms. Ashley Blackman, Principal for the East Central Lower Elementary. Ms. Mary Tanner, Assistant Superintendent. Mr. Stuart Hurley, Director of Special Education. Dr. Westfall, Director of Curriculum, and Dr. Morgan, Director of Vocational Technology. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing this special occasion with us. Now, on behalf of my fellow members of the class of 2021, I would like to welcome all family, friends, and faculty. I am truly honored to have the opportunity to speak on behalf of a group of students who for the past 13 years I have been proud to call my classmates, teammates, and friends. Today is the day that our parents have treaded, some teachers have prayed for, and we have strived towards. I would like to take a moment to thank our parents and families who have been by our sides throughout all stages of our lives. We thank you for your wisdom and kind words, along with help with last minute projects and hours of homework. To our teachers and coaches, thank you for dedicating each day to our advancement in education. Thank you for believing in us when we could not and taking genuine interest in our academic and personal lives. I would also like to thank Mr. Huey, Mr. Rao, and other administration. We thank you for effectively running our school while also allowing us to have fun. Now, class of 2021, take a moment to soak it all in. For many of us, all we have known for most of our lives is our families, the small town of Hurley, and each other. These are the people we have spent the last 13 years with. These are our friends, our families, the people who have shaped us, and the people we remember for the rest of our lives. But now many of us are parting ways. We will soon begin to introduce ourselves to new classmates, coworkers, and teachers. So how will you introduce yourself? For the first time ever, we have an infinite amount of pathways to follow. Persevere towards how you want to introduce yourself. Always remember that character will get you much further than a diploma or position ever will. I encourage you to be yourself while also being kind. Remember your morals and who you are. Do not settle on something when you believe you could do better. Work hard to leave a positive and lasting impression on those around you. After 13 years, I know that you are a group of an exceptionally talented individuals. Our grade has achieved many academic goals. Many of us will be graduating with several college credits and many students will be continuing their education in special programs in Honors College. Many students will enter the workforce and serve our, serve our country in the military. We have many students who are musically inclined and will continue achieving their extracurricular goals at several different colleges. Many of our classmates will also continue playing sports at collegiate levels. 
Needless to say, I am truly proud to be, su to be part of such an outstanding group of individuals. I cannot wait to see what each of you accomplish. And although there is so much uncertainty in front of us, remember, there is also opportunity. Remind yourself of the lessons your teachers and classmates have taught you throughout these past years. There are so many memories I will always treasure, like cheering on our sports teams with my fellow dancers and Mr. Rowell's tardy parties. I thank each of you for making the past 13 years the best they could possibly be. I pray God will bless whatever path you choose. Thank you for allowing me to serve as your class president. Today marks the beginning of something big for each of us. Congratulations to the class of 2021. I would now like to introduce Assistant Superintendent Dr. Boucher. I apologize. We got out of order just a bit, and it's, I'll, I'll take the blame for that. It's my privilege to now call our class historian, Anna Welburn, to the podium. I want to begin by saying thank you to all friends, family, staff, and administration for being here with us to celebrate the class of 2021. When I was told I was the historian of my graduating class, I was ecstatic because I've always been seen as the blondie that just wouldn't stop talking. But I'm here to tell you that you can be anything that you want to be and you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to and do not let stereotypes and other people's opinion get in the way of you achieving your goals. No matter what people say, life is what you make it. And it's a reflection of how hard you work and how you treat others along the way. After tonight, class rank or the numbers of tassels or medals around your neck will not matter. What matters is who you are as a person, the choices you make, and your character. That is what will determine how far you go in life and what you will accomplish. 1,391 days ago, we walked into the Brit Building of East Central High School. We arrived here only four short years ago, and now it's already time to leave. It seems like only yesterday we were insignificant freshmen, lost in the halls, trying to figure out where our next class was, and looking genuinely clueless to the upperclassmen. Now, we are the upperclassmen, the seniors who stand here ready to graduate and move forward into the next chapter of our lives. Yet, at this moment, we can't help but look back. Oh, how we will miss the sound of Coach Busby kicking a desk for no apparent reason from several classrooms down. Or the little things like Coach Knight flipping water bottles on top of projectors, Miss Henry laughing in the absolute worst situations, country fried steak dees, and hearing Miss Odessa say, have a good day, baby. Even though for me, it, was, it went like this. Have a good day, Amy. And I would remind her, it's Anna. And she would say, okay, Amy. But seriously, how do we measure the time we spent in high school? In the beginning, we measured it in class periods, counting down the days to eventual freedom. As the days and week passed, we moved from those clueless freshmen to the sophisticated sophomores who thought they had it all figured out. But by the time we reached our junior year, we were confident we were prepared to take over for the graduating seniors, and we couldn't wait to rule the school. Now our rule is over, and it's time to pass the torch to the next class. I know as I look out at all of you, I will measure my time here in a much different way. I'll measure it in all the friendships I've enjoyed these last four years. Some were pretty casual, while much were much closer. But I'll finally remember each one, as I'm sure you all will too. And when many of our high school memories begin to fade, 
That's how we'll ultimately measure our time here, not in periods, semesters, or years, but in the friendships we made and the time we spent together. There's a quote by Maya Angelou that my dad shared with me at a young age. People will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you make them feel. Take a moment and look around at all of our classmates. You might not be close with each of them, but none of us will forget the classmate that made us feel special. Maybe it was that person who lent you their extra school shirt because of a random dress code check. Or maybe you were recalling the classmate that helped you out on a homework that you forgot all about. But if I could leave the class of 2021 with one last thing to hold on to, it would be to just be a good person. Love others, treat people with respect, work hard, and be kind. These are the qualities that will take you far in life. I would like to end with a scripture that helps me remember the plans the Lord has for me. Jeremiah 29, 11 states, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. So to the faculty and staff, thank you for guiding us. To the parents, thank you for always believing in us and preparing us for the future. Most of all, I would like to thank God for the many blessings he has given us throughout our school years. And to my classmates, thank you to the many memories we have created together. Remember, every ending has a new beginning. 1,391 days ago, we walked into the brick building of East Central High School, but we sure aren't the same people who are walking out. Congratulations, class of 2021. And now I would like to introduce our salutatorian, Becca Havens, to the podium. Good evening, fellow graduates, family, friends, faculty, and staff. Thank you all for coming out tonight to support and celebrate the class of 2021. It is my honor to be standing here as salutatorian of this class, but before I really get into things, I have to let you know that I haven't given a speech like this since the fifth grade, so please bear with me. Wow, salutatorian, a word that I had to sound out every time I tried to spell it, and also an amazing honor that I am lucky enough to have. I can now proudly list this achievement on every resume right under my other hard-fought academic accomplishment, third grade overall highest GPA. I have so many people to thank for this accomplishment. My mom, dad, sister, all other family members who will be upset if I don't mention their name, my friends, my two favorite teachers of all time, Ms. Pierce and Ms. Murray, and Taylor Swift. I also want to thank the class of 2021 Together we had to navigate through so many different obstacles, including taking classes online, wearing masks all year long, watching the mullet make its return, and finally the tragic closing of Dixie Depot. Without going back years and years, I honestly can't think of another class that has suffered as much as we have this past year, which is the main reason I truly believe that the class of 2021 is one of the best classes to ever graduate from East Central High School. I think some of the teachers would even agree with that statement. Look at Coach Brinkman and Coach Hudson, for example. Coach Brinkman liked us so much, she left the middle school and followed us to the high school. Coach Hudson likes us so much that he's leaving with us. That's what I call dedication. <laughs> Along with the students, I think the staff currently at East Central High School is some of the best in the world. Ms. Pierce makes students fall in love with English every day, and Coach Knight does the same with math. Ms. Hollinghead and Coach Busby do the same with science and history, and Coach Law teaches you the importance of a Marvel movie. What more could a student ask for? I also want to take the time to acknowledge our senior sponsor, Ms. Bales, who has reminded us many times that she doesn't get paid an extra dime to do what she does for us. Without her hard work, the class of 2021 would not have been able to enjoy our senior year as much as we did, so Ms. Bales, thanks. I think I speak for our entire class when I say East Central High School has felt more like a home than a school. And one day, when we're all working for Ray, we'll look back and realize how fortunate we were to go there. Now I'm proud to say that our years of hard work and dedication have finally paid off, and I look forward to diving into life with each of you, head first, fearless. We'll forever be one, we'll forever be family, we'll forever be EC. 
Thank you again, friends, family, faculty, and congratulations to the class of 2021. I now want to welcome Ray Goodwin, our valedictorian, to the stage. Good evening, class of 2021, and congratulations on this momentous occasion. Every year, millions of students celebrate graduating, but most didn't experience the, the unprecedented challenges we faced this year. But despite a global pandemic, we made it. While the future is full of uncertainty, it is also filled with opportunity for our generation to take and run with as we strive to be the next greatest generation. As we celebrate our accomplishments tonight, let us all remember to recognize the people who helped make this graduation possible. Let us thank the school staff for all they have done for us. Teachers, administrators, counselors, bus drivers, janitorial and ground staff, cafeteria staff. They all worked hard and took risks to help us to this graduation. Let us thank our parents, grandparents, siblings, aunts and uncles, friends, teammates, everyone who helped you make it through the challenging times to get to this stage tonight. While we celebrate, while tonight is a celebration of the accomplishments of the East Central High School Class of 2021, let us all remember to, to recognize the people who helped make it possible. Take the time to say thank you, do it today, do it now. Thank you. I would like to now welcome our principal, Mr. Jim, Jim Huey. Good evening and welcome to the parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles. Thank you for the role that you've had in the life of each one of our graduating seniors. I would also like to thank our district administrators and board members for being part of the celebration this evening. What a joyous event, gra uh, graduates. Everyone in attendance is proud of what you've accomplished. Parents, on behalf of the staff of East Central High School, I want to take this opportunity to tell you what an awesome experience it has been to educate these soon-to-be former students. This year, our graduating class excelled in many areas. We have 82 seniors graduating with special honors and honors. Additionally, this class has received scholarship offers totaling in excess of $4 million. East Central students are encouraged throughout their school career to study hard and complete classes that will assist them with their future accomplishments. The administration and faculty support students, but in the end, the determination and dedication of the student confirms his or her place in the class. The top three students in the class of 2021 have validated their desire to excel. I'm very pleased to recognize this year's historian, salutatorian, and valedictorian. When I call your name, please come and receive your plaque commemorating your accomplishment. Historian, Anna Welburn. Salutatorian, Rebecca Havens. <laughs> and
and class valedictorian, Ray Goodwin. Class of 2021, you've certainly made your place in history at East Central High School. Anna shared with our guests the many accomplishments that you've achieved. Rest assured, when school begins in August, your presence will be missed. The mark you made over the last four years will always be remembered. Good luck to all of you, and God bless you. I would now like to welcome back to the podium the Superintendent of Education of the Jackson County School District, Dr. John Stricker. Through that challenging year, let's give your principal one more round of applause. He, he loves you. He cares very much for you. And the three young people that got up here to speak uh, this evening, excellent job. That takes courage to do that in front of an audience like this. Let's give those kids, kids a round of applause, please. That's awesome. Now, by the power vested in me by the state of Mississippi and the Jackson County School District, I now confer upon the East Central High School Class of 2021 your high school diploma. On behalf of the school board and myself, we wish you the best in all your future endeavors. Class of 2021, please come forward to receive your diplomas as we call your name. And again, congratulations. Raymond Paul Goodwin, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. <laughs> Rebecca Lane Havens, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Anna Claire Wellborn, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Elizabeth Naomi Dunsford, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Mackenzie Allison Rich, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Rebecca Whitney Hill, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Holly Christine Kennedy, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Josie Simone Abrams. Lily Madison Adkison, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Grayson Michael Ard, Advanced Diploma. Yes, 
Lillian Grace Eights, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Christian Tanner Balser, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Allie Elizabeth Bates. Cade Landon Benefield, Advanced Diploma. Hadley Ann Blackman, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Allison Noel Blackwell. Peyton Evan Bowler, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Cassie Nicole Bourne, Advanced Diploma. Jared Wesley Bradshaw, Advanced Diploma. Riley McKenna Brinkman, Honors. Dylan Huff Brooks, Advanced Diploma. Elijah Richard Brown, Advanced Diploma. Skylan Lee Burroughs, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Clay Ryan Busby, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Hayden Cole Bird Morris, Advanced Diploma. Jean Lewis Byron Jr., Advanced Diploma with Honors. Mackenzie Nicole Cannons. Kenzie Elizabeth Caston, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Trey Curtis Church III, Honors. Connor Liam Claffey, Advanced Diploma. Emily Jean Cobb, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Reagan Alexis Cochran, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Mackenzie Nicole Conley, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Haley Lynn Craig, Advanced Diploma. Victoria Lynn Cronier. <laughs> Kenneth Bryce Cumbest, Advanced Diploma. <laughs> Laura Lee Cumbest, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Jesse Michelle Davis. Yeah. 
Madeline Taylor Davis, Special Honors. William Trevor Deal, Honors. Dara Ashley Deloach, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Nathaniel Kincaid Dickens, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Colby Austin Dore, Advanced Diploma. Savannah Grace Duke, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Lauren Presley Edwards, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Elizabeth Renee Estes, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Caden Robert Fant, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Preston Andrew Fowler. Alex Alicia Fuentes. Kaylin Elizabeth Gibson, Advanced Diploma. Madeline Grace Godwin. Chloe Victoria Goff, Special Honors. Kaylee Brianna Grant. Reagan Nicole Grantham, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Matthew Lang Greeno, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Gavin Joshua Gwynn. <laughs> Melissa Von Seel Habick, Advanced Diploma. <laughs> Alyssa Leanne Hand, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Virginia Grace Harrell. Jacob Patrick Aaron Harrison. Noah Paul Harvey, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Savion Devon Haynes, Advanced Diploma. Samuel Douglas Henderson, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Jackson Ray Heaston, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Jansen Brady Hilben, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Peyton Wayne Hinkle. Brandon Ford Hodges, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors.
Holly Marissa Hodgins, Honors. Carly Marie Hoffman, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Kevin Lane Hollis, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Allison Nicole Engel. Lacey Nicole Jarman. Colby Nathaniel Jerkins. Jerrica Lynn Johnson, Honors. Bailey Page Jones, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Ethan Wallace Kibbe, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Dylan Kincaid Killingsworth. Abigail Lynn King, Advanced Diploma. Abby Renee Krebs, Advanced Diploma. Christopher Lance Lambert. Dallas Leanne Layton. Jason Dean Lee. McKaylee Ann Little, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Presley Elena Long, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Sean Lusk. Emily Grace Marksberry, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. <laughs> Emily Leanne Martin, Advanced Diploma. <laughs> Lindsay Elizabeth McCullough, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Ben Kirkwood McDowell, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. <laughs> Kyla Brianne McQueen. <laughs> Jason Mikor, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Christopher Burke Miller. <laughs> Jacob Cole Moody, Advanced Diploma with Honors. <laughs> Braden Scott Morey.
Charlotte Emily Morgan, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Victoria Renee Mosley, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Matthew James Nelson. Ashlyn Jade Newton, Honors. Chloe Elizabeth Nobles, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Layton Glenn Novak. Jaheem Lamonte Packer, Advanced Diploma. Alexis Cheyenne Palmer, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Curtis Blake Parker, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Grayson Cade Patterson. Colton Chase Pierce, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Carson Renee Pilkington, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Noah Kazeda. Jonathan Matthew Randall, Advanced Diploma. Colby Allen Andrew Reynolds, Advanced Diploma. Joshua Caleb Rhodes, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Mallory Lauren Rich, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Owen William Riley, Advanced Diploma. Colsey Mariah Ring, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Lori Kate Rogers. Skylar Lawrence Rutledge, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Kayla Carol Samples. Jacob Thomas Sayer. Anna Callan Scott. Michael Slider, Advanced Diploma. Amaya Elise Smith, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Brianna Nicole Smith. Dakota Jordan Smith.
Gracie Mae Elizabeth Smith. Caden Thomas Smith, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Kyle Davis Sparks, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Dalen Reese Spencer, Advanced Diploma. Justin Tyler Sperry, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. <laughs> Graylin Elizabeth Staganga, Special Honors. <laughs> Haley Michelle Stevenson, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Ethan Gage Stork, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. <laughs> Micah Jason Strickland. <laughs> Dalton Lee Summerall, Advanced Diploma. Brandon Jerome Tatum. Paris Elaine Taylor, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Cambry Lee Thompson, Advanced Diploma. Samuel Cole Tillman. Elijah Andrew Troutman, Advanced Diploma. Michael Anthony Trumbatory, Honors. Kendall Cherie Turner, Honors. Carly Elise Underwood, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Taylor Star Vance, Honors. Lucas Marty Walding, Jr., Advanced Diploma. Landon O'Neill Wall. Samuel J. Walls, Advanced Diploma. Adriana Renee Waltman. Taylor A Allen Ware. Lucas Andrew Wales, Advanced Diploma. Jordan Anthony Wells, Advanced Diploma. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He's got to give him one too. <laughs> Andrea Desiree Bernice Wells.
Simone Dewan Wales Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Lillian Faith Williams, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Raiden Treshawn Williams, Advanced Diploma. Jeffrey Patrick Wilson. Terrence Daytuan Wilson. Grant Compton Winstead, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Kyle William Winstead, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Kate Talent Wright, Advanced Diploma with Special Honors. Joshua Lewis Zwick, Advanced Diploma with Honors. Colin Jacob Stockman. I want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you to our administration, our staff, our parents, our family, and our friends who helped us get here. Without you all, we would not be here today. East Central High School, you have been the best in the worst times of our lives. As I sat down to write this speech, it brought tears to my eyes because May 11th was the last day that we stepped into East Central High School with students. I feel like many of you would agree that we thought this day would take forever to come, but now it's gone. I would give anything and everything to go back to freshman year. Senior year was supposed to be the best year yet, but we had our share of hardships. This year we faced obstacles that we never thought we would face in our lifetimes, but we made it through them. However, we did not make it through them on our own strengths. I believe with all of my heart when I say that East Central High School has the best staff. The teachers that we have been blessed with are a significant reason that we are all here today. You guys made school fun and exciting, and for some students, you made it their safe place. I hesitate to call out names because I do not want to accidentally leave someone out, but there are a few memories and people that deserve recognition. First off, thank you to whoever came up with We Are One, We Are Family, We Are EC. I'm pretty sure everyone can agree with me when I say that that saying was super cringy when we first heard it and for the following months, but I think at some point it grew on us. We started saying it with Mr. Huey on the announcements, we started putting it on the walls, and we even started chanting it on our homecoming float. The saying was more than our motto, the saying was our truth. We are one, one student body, one amazing school. We are family. After spending 13 years together, we become each other's family. We are EC. We are the best school with the best staff. Next, I want to say thank you to the teachers who knew how to make a bad day better, like Ms. Sampson and Ms. Green, with their choreographed dance and signs telling us to mask up and hats off. Thank you both for making us laugh every time we passed. 
or walking by Coach Busby's room and hearing him kick his desk and yell, Gildan means corruption, and knowing that every student in his room just jumped out of their desk. And then there's Coach Knight, the teacher who somehow made math fun and understandable. If you were having a bad day, he knew how to make you laugh and feel better by giving you a candy bar and a hug. Thank you to the teachers like Ms. Peterson and Ms. Pierce, who always had a contagious smile on their face. Thank you to every staff member and teacher at the high school as well as every East Central campus. Thank you, Ms. Lott, and every class sponsor who gave up their time to help us with homecoming festivities and senior activities. We may not have always shown our appreciation, but we do. We appreciate you all so much. Thank you, Ms. Bells, for putting up with us this year. We're not an easy class to get to agree on something, but somehow you got us to. Like I said, we are blessed with the best, and if I stood up here and thanked everyone who deserved it, we would be here for hours. So I'll just say this. Thank you to everyone who plays a part in making East Central the best place to be. On to the more serious stuff. I cannot stand up here and act like I know what our lives will be after tonight because of this past year has taught us anything is that anything can happen at any time. So with that being said, do not take the time we are given for granted and take everything that we have been taught by our parents, our teachers, our friends, and our own experiences and use them to make a future. East Central, you have shaped us into the young men and women that we are today and we will forever be grateful. As much as it pains me to say goodbye to the best place that I've ever been a part of and the best people that I've ever met, class of 2021, it's our time and go to go and follow our dreams. Deuteronomy 31.8 says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Class of 2021, we are officially alumni. You may now toss your cap. Thank you all for joining us this evening. At this time, we're gonna ask the parents and guests to start exiting. And then whenever you all have exited the building, then we'll begin with the students and you all can visit outside. Thank you and have a great evening. 